good morning in in this session we'll continue our discussion about the right from the last session so just recall what all we have learned in the last session we can see the previous class video also so the toroid which is bent into the form of a closed loop is called a toroid now we were finding out the magnetic field inside the toroid and we took up three cases the first case is inside the toroid and the second case is in the open space interior of the toroid and the last case which is left out is finding out the magnetic field in the open space outside the toroid so i have told you how to mark the current directions when you take a cross section so the current which we feel like going into the plane of the paper all are marked as cross and the current which is coming out are dot currents now we took up the first case that is we found the case 1 as finding out the magnetic field inside the toroid so consider any point which is inside the toroid so let the magnetic field at this point b equal to b now you have to find a uh, use the right hand thumb rule to find out the direction now let us say this point is at a distance r from the center of the toroid now consider this amperian loop to apply ampere circuital law when you apply ampere circuital law closed integral of b dot dl is mu not i e and you have to find out what is the current threading the loop the current that is threading the loop is sum of all these cross currents so we have assumed that the current in each turn is capital i and the toroid has n number of turns that is why the total current threading the loop we got it as n into i so integration of bgl mu not ni we got got and then after simplifying we got the magnitude of the magnetic field at any point inside the toroid as mu not ni by 2 pi r now we also took another case where we have found the magnetic field inside the open space interior of the toroid so we took up this point and we considered another amperian loop of radius r and by the figure it is very clear that the current threading this loop is there is no current threading this loop so i is zero that is why we got the magnetic field interior of this toroid is also zero now we have to take the last case that is case 3 case 3 So what is this case? Magnetic field in the open space exterior of toroid. Magnetic field in the open space exterior of toroid. so you consider any point which lies outside the toroid so let us say this point now consider an amperian loop and call it as loop 3 now to apply ampere circuital law you have to find out what is the current threading this loop now here it is very clear that each turn of toroid threads this loop two times see if the current here coming out is i the same current enters here i so the current you know here i can say that the total current threading this loop is 
if you are taking this current as plus i this will be minus i so i minus i that will become zero so for example this uh, if for, uh, assume that the current here coming out is 2 ampere so 2 plus 2 plus 2 like that n times n into i currents comes out similarly he is here n into i current goes into the plane of the paper so we can say that the total current threads the loop you know each turn or the current in each turn threads the loop twice in the opposite direction so therefore the net current threading the loop again it here also it will become zero so hope you understood how it is so here you see the current appears to be coming out here the current is going into so each time or each turn of the thyroid I can say that threads a loop two times but in opposite direction one coming out another going in so the total current threading the loop will become zero we will write down all these points case 3 each turn of toroid consider loop 3 each turn of toroid each turn of the right threads the loop threads the loop two times in opposite direction in opposite direction in opposite direction therefore total current threading the loop 3 as n into i minus n into i which is equal to 0 therefore by applying Ampereans law you get therefore by Ampere's circuital law Ampere's circuital law closed integral of P dot DL as mu naught into current threading the loop which is, is again 0 So here B is again equal to 0. So thus no magnetic field exists in the open space interior and exterior of toroid. So the note is thus important. Thus no magnetic field exists. exist in the open space interior and exterior interior and exterior of toroid or b equal to 0 no magnetic field exists in the open space interior and exterior of toroid or B is 0. Also, the magnetic field inside the toroid is at a distance R from the center of the toroid is given by B is equal to mu naught and I. divided by 2 pi r the magnetic field exists only inside the toroid 
but in the open space interior and exterior of the toroid is zero so this is important we can do some problems also so the thing is here important is finding out the current direction so that ca you can easily write when the current appears to go into the plane of the paper we mark it as cross current emerging out of the plane of the paper we mark it as dot so when we consider loop 1 that is this loop so the current threading this loop becomes only those cross currents so we have n turns and each turn carrying current i so the total current threading the loop will become n into i similarly when you consider the second case that is in the open space exterior sorry interior of the toroid in this case when you consider this loop the current threading the loop is zero because we can see that all the currents are outside this loop not inside this loop therefore magnetic field becomes zero now when you consider a point outside the toroid what happens here is the each turn threads the loop twice but that is in opposite direction one is entering the other one is coming out so these two current get cancel each other so the total current again becomes zero and hence we get the total magnetic field at in the open space outside the toroid is zero